I worked in the telecom engineering field for like 13 years and actually probably after three or four years I already started to um, ask my, my, myself like what I want to do when I be a, a big guy and so I started to learn sociology, anthropology. I was really looking like what I'm really interested in and how I can contribute somehow. Um, and so I learned that and suddenly I saw that, yeah, a lot of people are dealing with those issues that I'm very uh, um, worried about. So I was, so I felt that, okay, that's not the thing. Um, then I, probably the next part with theater, uh, I started to learn theater, I played in some plays, in some movies, and I really liked it, but there was something that was not exact, exactly what I wanted to do. And, and one night I was at a friend's place and she gave me paint and, and brushes, and I did my first painting, and then I knew that was the thing, it was obvious. It was an abstract painting, nothing to do with what I'm doing today, but, uh, but I knew that, okay, that's, that's what I'm, I'm here for. What I tried to do from the beginning is um, I didn't want to, to do nearly, I would say, anything about the visual. What Bacon did was, for me, it was, I had nothing to, to add on that. I had something to, to respond to. I wanted to, uh, to, to respond to his works, probably to respond to a certain vision he had of men. I, I said before that I, I, I read uh, his life and, uh, and, and there was something also in his works uh, that, that didn't belong to me, to, my, to, to the period I live in. Um, but the visions are still very strong. And, and the thing I wanted to respond to is this vision of man that is probably um, where you see men that are alone, isolated, in tension. He removed, he, uh, he blurred the faces in his works. And one of the things I, I, I did, if, you, if I didn't uh, try to, uh, to, to do anything about the, the visual, but the face and, and something more about the essence of the work, I tried to work on the essence, putting a, a, a living person, a human being into the works, painting on the, on the human being itself, uh, adding a face, he has a real face. This face can help communicate. So it's not anymore the person who is isolated in his, in his uh, an environment, he's the person through which the face can communicate. And this is in, in this way it's more linked to the idea of Levinas, about going beyond yourself, that the other is not anymore someone who puts you in an in a uncomfortable place, but through which you can go out of yourself. Uh, and I think this is probably uh, my bigger influence. I, it's for sure the, the first exhibition was after Bacon, and the second exhibition was after, because, because it's after Bacon, but it's also after Levinas. First of all, in, in those works, everything is real. And that's very important because it's taking the painting of Bacon, which is a two-dimensional, uh, painted on a two-dimensional surface from his memory, and putting these two-dimensional imagined spaces into life. So what I had to do is really create a set in which a person can live. It, it is something kind of performance, uh, uh, it's a documentation of a performance. I put, I, I try to first understand how, how it's possible to build these completely, uh, these the spaces that are not, you, you cannot live inside them. If you look at Bacon's painting, everything is, um, it's not logical there. You, you cannot, everything is completely uh, deformed. So I, I, I try to understand how it's possible to do that in real life. Put a person, paint it on a person, painting on a space, and then filmed it. To, in order to do that, I had to do a lot of uh, modeling, a lot of sketches, three-dimensional software. I use three-dimensional software to model the space. Then build a space. It takes two to three months to build a space. And then comes the filming day. During the filming day, it's just like cinema. A lot of people are there uh, on the set 
it's uh, 10 to 15 people present uh, depending on the works. It's a very long process because we, we paint on the person and actually because we need all the lighting to be there and the person to be there and I always want the person for it has to be the first time for the person to be in the set because I want I want the person to not to be used to this process I don't work twice with the same person so we can only see it the first time during the filming day so that's why it takes so long because we need to paint and we need to, to find ways because sometimes it's not comfortable for the person to, to stay there. We try to do our best for it, but we need to improvise all the time. So it's, it's a very long time.